Good morning and welcome to Zen Fits here in Blackstone, Virginia, the cold center of the world. I think it's seven degrees out there. We uh, had to, we ran our pipes. We live in an old house. So we we trickled the pipes, the water pipes, so they wouldn't freeze, and. Uh, and so the, even though the furnace was, the gas furnace was working, uh, he couldn't get the house over 62. So, <laughs> so this morning's uh, uh, talk uh, was just a, uh, never mind. <laughs> the name of the talk is, uh, it's a Christmas cone, a cold Christmas cone. K-O-A-N is Zen cone. I work with cones or paradoxes or I work with contradictions. Ah, that's it. I work with contradictions. A cone is a contradiction. A Zen cone is a contra is a bottle of contradiction. Is a bot is is a bottled contradiction. The cone is a drama between a monk and a master, and it's a contradiction. And it's put in a bottle. And you have to get and you have to get uh, get it out. It's got there's a uh, one Zen cone is uh, 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 the master gave uh, and it, there's a there's a uh, the master gave the monk or told the monk that there's a bottle where a goose was raised in the bottle. A goose was raised in a bottle. Now get the goose out without killing the goose or breaking the bottle. Monk couldn't do it, so he just, I quit. I quit this sin. It's stupid. He walked away, and the master called after him, "Sir!" And and the monk turned, "What?" And the master said, "There, the goose is out of the bottle." So the goose in the bottle is the contradiction. How do you get it out? So the cone for this morning is the monk asked the master. What is beyond heat and cold? Or what's beyond duality? What's beyond good and bad? What's beyond up and down? What's beyond pleasure and pain? What's beyond inside and outside? What's beyond duality? What, what's beyond my consciousness? My consciousness is stuck. My mind is trapped in a contradiction of yes and no. When I think I've got it, it's no. When I think it's no, it's yes. Yes is no, and no is catch-22. How do I get out of catch-22? How do I get out of this tape loop, this madness, where nothing is permanent, where nothing is stable? How do I get out? Please, please, show me the way. And the monk master said, well, you go where it's not hot and where it's not cold. <laughs> Where is that? And the master said, when hot, sweat. When cold, shiver. Get it? You can't get it logically, but you can get it with an aha. You can, can't get it by thinking, but you can get it with oh. You can't get it with logic, but you can get it with oh. You can't get it with analysis, but you can get it with oh. So, how does the go how do you get the goose out of the bottle? Sir, what? There, it's out. When the monk turned, you see he had given up the struggle. He'd given up the struggle to get the goose out of the bottle. So he was relaxed. And the master called him, Sir, and he turned. But he turned totally. He didn't turn like, should I turn? Should I not? What's he going to say? What's, what, what should I do? Is it good that I turn or bad that I turn? Will he like me if I turn? Will he like, will he hate me if, will he like me if I don't turn? What should I do? What should I do? None of that was there. The monk just turned. What? Yes. There. The goose is out of the bottle. So, it's the same cone. Where do you go that's not hot and cold? Where do you go where the goose is not in the bottle? Where do you go that you're not suffering from duality and the calculating mind? Where you're not suffering from 
the analytical mind, where you're not suffering from the intellect. That's always clever. Where you're not suffering from the clever mind, the knowledge mind, the weight of, of, of accumulated knowledge and data. Where can you go that is innocent? Where can you go that it is not trapped in the, in the, in the So anyway, where can you go that is beyond hot and cold? Well, when hot, shiver. Whoops, no. When hot, <laughs> sweat. When cold, shiver. I can't tell you what that means. So you have to figure it out. Anyway, this is a Christmas Eve gift. A little Christmas cone because it's a cold cone. We're cold. What do you do when you're cold? Well, you just shiver. You don't wish it would be hot. You know, you don't cry and complain. You don't blame Bush, not Bush, Biden or Trump. <laughs> when cold, shiver. And when you're hot, don't blame the weather. Don't blame the global warming. Don't blame anybody. Just sweat. Be what you are without complaint, without comparing. Oh, it's better in Miami, or it's cooler in Alaska. All the comparing mind. That's the goose in the bottle. That's the goose in the bottle. So when you want to go beyond the goose in the bottle, beyond hot and cold, beyond duality, you don't go anywhere. You just shiver if cold or sweat if hot. That's it. It's very simple. It's so simple. Shiver when cold, sweat when hot. No complaint. No wishful thinking. No need for gurus and, and, and uh, uh, a, new, a new heat pump. <laughs> this is not literal now. This doesn't mean that you can't get a furnace work fixed. This is not about that. It's not about relative heat and cold. It's about absolutes. If you want to be absolutely okay, you have to be absolutely okay with what's happening. You are what's happening. You are reality. You are the cosmos. The cosmos is happening and you are that. So don't bitch. <laughs> don't complain. But then you can still catch a bus. You can still fix the heat. It's not about that. That's relative. That's practical. That's useful. What we want to know is how do I get beyond hot and cold, beyond good and bad, beyond duality, to that, which is absolute. Well, you can't find the absolute in the relative world, so you got to go beyond the relative world. you got to go beyond the relative mind. you got to go beyond the dual mind. you got to go beyond consciousness itself, you see. Consciousness is useful for fixing the furnace. But it's not useful in knowing who you are. It's not useful to discover your absolute identity of I am. I am. That When that awakens, I am, that's the goose out of the bottle. That's beyond hot and cold. I am is the roar of the Buddha. It's the roar of the cosmos saying, I'm awake, I'm awake. Good. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in.